What is going on with Sriracha Inu? What's up guys, how's it going? Zelta here, aka John. What is going on with Sriracha Inu? Go ahead and stay tuned to the end of the video. I am going to go ahead and do a quick market analysis about crypto and the overall economical market of what's going on and what we could be expecting moving forward all right guys so let's go ahead and get started and talk about the new updates that is going on with sriracha inu and the new hype that is coming on along and i really do think you guys do not want to miss on this opportunity but before i do go ahead and get started i do want to go ahead and say i am not a financial advisor anything i do say or talk about in this video is solely for entertainment purposes only all right guys always invest in what you're willing to lose this market is not for everyone. Crypto is very hectic, and if you guys cannot handle the volatility, I suggest you guys go invest in the stock market or something a lot slower than the crypto market, all right, guys? So let's go ahead and get started. What project are we reviewing? Like I said, Sriracha Inu. Let's go ahead and do the new updates that they have going on. So to go ahead and get started, they did actually uh, do an update on their website. I believe I kind of spoke a little bit about this in the past from a previous video but most importantly they did actually added the reward section so the re reward section right here you could actually go ahead and uh, click on calculator and you guys can go ahead and see how much you guys will be earning passive income with your token quantity the supply and the circulation and the amount of volume if you guys do remember or you guys are not aware and are new to our channel i just want to go ahead and say welcome welcome to the lux fiat channel where you get daily news on nfts and crypto related tokens low cap altcoins where you can make massive gains and as well you get education so go ahead and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel so let's go ahead and talk back to sriracha inu rewards right so just by holding sriracha inu you actually get eight percent of ETH rewards back every day, but it all depends on the amount of tokens you are holding and the amount of volume. And then right here, you guys can go ahead and check how much money you can, I, you guys could actually be earning just by playing around with this calculator, which is really cool. You guys could be making massive gains. Not only do you make money by Sriracha going up, but you also make money when Sriracha goes down because you get a percentage when people buy and sell. So that's one of the reasons why Sriracha Inu actually does have quite a high, you know, I don't want to call it tax fee, but there is a fee when you're paying and I believe it's around 15 to 18%. Depends on the volatility, but like I said, guys, you do get paid back. So uh, we can't complain about that, right? So far, this is the only token that I've been in that gives you actual ETH rewards straight to your wallet without really doing anything you do have to go ahead and add you know the peg um address but very simple and it goes straight to your wallet you start earning rewards every day um when i was as of making of this video currently right now i'm earning around and it depends it, it's like i said it changes due to the fact of the volume and where the token's at but previously when i when i made this video a while back or talked about sriracha and you know, i was earning about a hundred and I think it was 140 to 180 dollars a week so that was really good just from doing anything literally just holding the token i don't know what, what i'm earning now honestly i don't really check into the wallet the way i go ahead and i'm going to give you guys a trick all right guys the way you stay calm in this market is by not checking your wallet constantly just look at the charts or just look at twitter for news and that's it you know uh you don't want to go ahead and begin stressing out about the how your wallet's doing so i really suggest you guys not to constantly be looking at it 24 7. the only thing i do that i do look and i'm aware on is the charts and twitter news i don't check my wallet regularly because i already know how much i have in there so based off the charts i just make a figure okay i'm up this much now, if I need to go ahead and take money or whatever the case is, move it into another project, then that's what I go ahead and actually jump in and check out my wallet. But I try to stay away from my wallet from looking at it because seeing that volatility could definitely make you very emotional in the market. It is something that you do not want to go ahead and begin to get. Do not get emotional with your investment. And that's what we always suggest. Only invest in what you're willing to lose. So my tip is that do not constantly look at your, at your wallet Let's say, for example, I bought in down here, so I know I'm up. I'm probably not at up as much as I was up here. Obviously, I'm probably lower than that, but I'm still in the green. 
but I just do not want to go ahead and constantly be checking my wallet. The only thing I, I stick to is the charts. Depending on how the charts are doing, I could already figure how my wallet is doing due to the fact that I remember my position of my coins. I remember where I enter because like I said, when I go ahead and enter these coins, I have a strategy behind it. So I have a buy-in strategy and I have a sell strategy. So I already have an idea in my head, which I don't recommend. The only reason why I could remember this is because I'm not invested in too many projects. I'm invested in literally on a handful that I can literally remember and I can tell you everything about the projects. But if you guys are, you know, investors or traders are invested into 20 to 30 coins, I really would suggest you guys to go ahead and write that down and probably have it in an Excel sheet. But um, I already have an idea on all the projects that I'm in and out and the, and the price range that I, I, I will be exiting at. So right now, um, so let's go into the charts. You know, I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about a little bit about strategy, about, you know. Um, I just want to interrupt really quick to tell you about the Unknown Species NFT, which is an NFT that we've been teasing for for a while. And at the end of the sale of the 600, we are going to be doing 10 $3,000 raffles. So be sure to check it out. Uh, here's the trailer to give you more information. But uh, go ahead and go to DAC dot llc slash nft and find out more information here's the trailer mr president this looks really bad sir the doctor's research was leaked and it has left unrest within the country this is not good the plan backfired as i predicted Mr. President, you need to speak on this or there will be riots. We cannot afford riots on top of this. The president wants all samples brought to the laboratory at once for immediate testing. This could be dangerous, people. Very dangerous. Yeah, about strategy, pretty much about your tokens and the way to go ahead and handle that. So let's go ahead and jump into the charts right now. So we are looking at the four hourly uh, candlestick chart. So we were here prior to that. We did break up to the upside. What actually caused this pump was that we actually did a fifty thousand uh, dollar sriracha burn. So they did that on Friday, which was March eighteenth. So that reacted really well. I love that we did break that resistance point and we held really good so right now we are in consolidation mode probably you know we needed to go ahead and take that little dump down to the downside just to go ahead and start bringing in new buyers all right guys so right now it's looking extremely bullish nothing of red signs we we're looking really well so far we did talk a while back in our other videos that we were expecting this to hold up and unfortunately with all the scares of everything going on we actually did break that one strong support that we once had and we broke down another support again right here and right now we are looking like it's going to be this is going to be our new support so what i do expect for sriracha to actually go ahead and do which we are at the support area right here is to go as low as this blue area right here probably consolidate for a while and then pump back again or we might just go ahead and barely touch it right here i mean we are in the support area we might just even touch it right here and then just pump back up to the upside. So if we are doing that, guys, that is extremely well. Like I said, I don't see a reason to be selling this token since you guys do make money on when it's up and down. So if you guys are looking a little bit more of a longer term on this token, I would suggest you just continue to buy the dip. There is going to be bigger things coming to Sriracha Inu. The team is very solid. And if you guys go ahead and check on the telegram very active super well community like the community is amazing you know we all help each other out with the marketing side we're constantly pushing in the twitter you know pumping it up ourselves because remember when it's a community driven token we the holders decide to go ahead and make that project more known which means our more money to our pockets right guys we all make more money when people know about the projects so um yeah, I'm extremely bullish with Sriracha. I just wanted to go ahead and do this quick update. So let's go ahead and switch over to the weekly real quick just to go ahead and let you guys know what's going on. So the weekly looks extremely bullish. 
It does look like a reversal going in. You know, Bitcoin is reacting really well right now at the moment. But there is some few indicators that I want to go ahead and, you know, let you guys know. But before we do go ahead and do that, let's go ahead and go to the Sriracha Inu Twitter and see what's going on. All right, guys. So like I said, they did the 20 BNB burn, which was about $50,000, I believe. Was it $50,000? Spent. Oh, it was $7,000. My bad. I was completely off. So I'm glad I actually went back over here and I actually got the confirmation. So it was $7,000 that they spent for a burn back. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Yeah. All right, it was $7,000 worth at that point. And then it says right here, $20 buyback and burn. Over 31 trillion Sriracha valued at over 95,000 at the current price has been burned. So that is insane, guys. So extremely bullish for Sriracha. They have been growing. You know, they did have an AMA on Friday. Unfortunately, I missed it. Uh, you guys could actually go to their Twitter and hear it out if you guys want to. Like I said, I'm extremely bullish with this project. This project is not really a token you guys want to go ahead and swing trade or really be trading due to the fact of the fees. But like I said, it's more of a longer term uh, project to go ahead and earn you passive income. So let's go ahead and look into BTC and the overall crypto market. What is going on? All right, guys. So, you know, there's been nothing but extreme fear in the market. If we go over to the greed and fear chart, let's see where is it at right here. Let's go ahead and check that out. Let's see how the overall market is doing. I do remember last time I checked, we were in the fearful territory. So let's go ahead and see that right now. So currently we are in fear. Last week we were in extreme fear and last month we were in extreme fear as well. Like I've been saying, guys, this is extremely bullish for us. I don't know why people begin to always constantly panic. But, um, you know, I guess that's a part of the plan, right? We don't, we don't want this market to go up or at least the... Uh, the top people don't want this market to be up. So let's go ahead and see what's going on with Bitcoin. Let's go over to the one daily chart. So, you know, people were very excited during this area right here. Uh, we They were expecting a massive dump. If we can't hold above 40,000, do expect Bitcoin to go ahead and drop. And I know a lot of my viewers are not Bitcoin holders, okay? I'm not a Bitcoin holder myself at the moment. I do hope I am a holder in the future. Most of my positions are altcoins, you know, anything to low cap gems, just because there's a higher opportunity for all of us to make money. I do believe in Bitcoin myself, but the reason why we go over Bitcoin is because Bitcoin at the current time being, crypto is the mother of everything and pretty much moves the whole market. So depending on how Bitcoin moves, the whole entire, you know, altcoins and other crypto coins move as well. I know there is some coins that do their own thing, but for the most part, Bitcoin is the leader. So all the other coins follow right behind. So this is the reason why we're doing this update, by the way. So we definitely do want to go ahead and see Bitcoin hold above 40,000. If we don't, do expect it to go ahead and dump down to 36,000. If we can't hold 36,000, we will be seeing 34,000 very shortly. So a lot of people are extremely bull uh, extremely bearish, sorry, and they've always been bearish. I don't think I've seen one YouTuber really talk about how bullish Bitcoin is looking everybody's so scared they were talking about how rate hikes was going to go ahead and dump the market i even got to it with another you know youtuber i was laughing uh because i mentioned how the market was going to go up he said no he said rates are going to cause a lot of fear in the market and it's going to get dumped and look what happened guys it's the reason why you guys should be subscribed to our channel by the way uh so right now we currently are kind of we were earlier, we were in the overbought territory. So right now it is looking extremely bullish. I, we really do need that little dump. Like I said, we need to hold above 40,000. And if we do hold above 40,000, which is right here, do expect the market to go up. And hopefully we will be breaking, you know, those previous highs, which was around 45,000. This is a strong area of resistance right here, guys. We definitely do want Bitcoin to go ahead and push this to the upside. The reason why being is like i said repeat myself one more time bitcoin is the one that kind of pushes the market so i really do think if we could break above forty-five thousand and hold above it we will be seeing a bullish side to a lot of these altcoins and they will be re reacting very well so let's go ahead and check out the hourly the hourly is looking ex sorry not the hourly the weekly is looking extremely bullish at the time being. At the weekly, we are extremely oversold still, so we actually kind of jumped in. 
uh, barely into the into the, into the area. Uh, we actually just got out of the oversold back in around literally towards the mids of February. So we barely just got out of the oversold territory. So I'm extremely bullish for Bitcoin. Let's go ahead and check out the hourly. Um, hourly is looking bullish so far. I mean, the whole market is looking extremely bullish, to be honest. And like I said, it does look like we kind of are in the oversold territory for Bitcoin on the daily. Kind of. Yeah, we hit about... Yeah, we kind of are over, over, not sorry, not oversold, overbought on Bitcoin right now, but it is looking pretty well. Hopefully we can go ahead and see a nice pump to the upside. I am making this video on a Sunday night, so you guys are watching this video on a Monday. So I really do expect the market to react really well on a Monday, but let's go ahead and see what happens, all right, guys? So uh, I just want to go ahead and thank everybody. Thank you very much. Go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on Tuesday or Wednesday. Hopefully, the market begins to pick up, and if the market begins to pick up, uh, we will be uploading a lot more videos. It just so happens that with this market being down, you know, a lot of people don't watch our videos, so I'd rather spend that energy on something else that could, you know, expand our business even further, like collaborations, partnerships, kind of like what you saw with Mike. You know, Travis from MetaFest, you know, really great people. We have another special guest coming very soon, uh, Mr. Jones. So a lot of fire coming up, guys. So just best believe when we are not constantly uploading like we were a few weeks ago, uh, we are working behind the scenes to bring you guys more quali better quality, more content, and bring you a lot more than just crypto knowledge. We want to go ahead and bring you knowledge in every area in life, right, guys? So let's go ahead and end the video there. It's a little too long, went over a little rant, but I just want to go ahead and keep everybody up to date to every one of those that do watch our content and are subscribed. Really appreciate every one of you. Make sure to go ahead and hit the bell icon. Um, you know, a lot of the videos, I know one of the reasons a lot of our videos have been decreasing in views is because a lot of this, our subscribers have not been getting the notification until hours or days later. I'm subscribed to the own channel on another account, on my personal YouTube account, and I don't even get the notifications that we upload, sometimes days or hours later. So go ahead and make sure to hit the bell button. And till later, guys, see you guys on Wednesday. Thank you.